Hi and welcome to this uh, short tip. Uh, just uh, thought I'd uh, I'd share this uh, little trick with you. It's uh, it's probably common knowledge for for most Shepherd developers, but uh, it might be something interesting for new people. So what I'm going to show you here is how you can uh, can um, set up a quick quick access to uh, to your 12 hive in in SharePoint development. And what we're going to do here is going to right click at uh, an empty part of your uh, taskbar here. Then we're going to toolbars and then we're going to create a new toolbar. Uh, and then we're going to browse down into the 12 high, which will be on C and uh, program files and common files, Microsoft shared. Then we'll scroll all the way down to web server extensions and then we'll click on 12 here. So we'll just hit OK now. And as you can see now, we get a sort of a quick quick access uh, to, to all of the 12 hive here. So we can get, uh, get our log files or get to our templates or features or whatever we want to do. The second thing I want to show you is just how you set up uh, the path to to uh, include STS admin and the bin directory of the 12 hive to your uh, your path in in your uh, operating system. So uh, the first thing I want to do is just to open the bin directory here, and I'm going to just copy this path here. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to to add. So uh, once I've done that, I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm going to click on my computer and set say properties. Then we're going into the advanced settings here and into the environmental variables. At the bottom here, you can see the system variables. We'll scroll down to the path here and we'll just edit this one. And then we'll say add a semicolon at the end of the current path. And then we'll just uh, add the, uh, the, the path to the bin directory here. So now that uh, when we click OK now and uh, we'll click OK again, uh, these settings will actually not apply until you to, until you restart or, or actually log on again. Uh, but once you re-log re on now, you can, can basically go into any command prompt and you can go SDS add and it'll be it'll find the correct uh, path for you. So, so that's just what I wanted to, to show you here.